might join you. Um, okay. Companies use this to test their products. They use relative frequency. Okay. Um, what they actually do, what a lot of companies do, is they'll test batches. Like they take a batch, like out of a thousand, they'll take this many, they'll test them, they'll find the relative frequency of defection, and then they'll decide whether that batch is okay to go or not. Okay? Based on their relative frequency. A lot of companies have a 90% approval rate. If it's not over 90% or 0.9 relative frequency, they'll can the whole batch, so let's get rid of it. Condom companies, and I'm serious about that, they do test the leakage. And they will take a certain amount, yeah, they have to. Quality control. Quality control is an amazingly important thing. They do a lot of different tests on them, but one of the tests is for leakage. So they'll fill up the water. So what happens? Okay. So they'll do a test. And if, if the relative frequency of that test is not, I think it's 95% for most like things, um, they go, okay, if 95%, so 0.95, their relative frequency can't be 0.8 or 0.17, it's gotta be 0.95 or above. If it's not, then they get rid of that whole batch. They say that batch is defective. Now they only tested a certain sample. Remember we talked about sampling? Yeah. They do a stratified sample, no, they do a um, random sample or a batch sample. And if they don't come up to scratch, they get rid of them all. And that's why they can make a claim that they're 95% uh, effective. You don't want to be a company with, for instance, this one's tyres, but you don't want to be a company that's got tyres that one out of every three, so a 0.33, is dodgy. Because you're going to lose com uh, customers. Okay? So these guys have got a, a, a tyre company and they test their tyres and they find out of 144 out of a batch of 150 tyres will withstand 20,000 kilometres of normal wear. So now we have to find the relative frequency of tyres that will last the 20,000 kilometre. So what's we got to find? We've got to find the number of times an event has occurred. Which one's that? Uh, 144. 144. And the number of trials? 150. Yeah? So, relative frequency? 144 over 150. What do we get? As a decimal. You have to be able to do this very quickly. You don't want to be hung up on trying to do these for. You know, if this takes you more than a minute, you're taking too long. What is it? There. So that is over the 0.95. So if you turn, change that to a percentage, which is, what, which is what they want the answer as, what is the percent? 96%. Okay. So it has a 96% good rate, a 96% success, if you will, which means only 4% of their tyres fail. Everyone happy with that? 